Hey, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to the channel. If you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you already here, man, I appreciate each and every one of y'all. And we just gonna get right into this. Let's get it. Hi, what's going on, everybody? Um, as you can see, basically by the title, it's just essentially several different rotations. Um, obviously some aren't going to do nearly as high as other parses, it's, um, one in particular is going to do a bit higher than the rest of them. Um, now, I believe nature is the most versatile power in the game right now. However, because of this whole healer thing, I think they're going to nerf it. Um, now with that said, man, I'd like to give a, a, a shout out to Top Stooge, um, it was him I've, I've seen this from, I believe the YouTube channel name is like Alex Spears, uh, I'll have it in the description, uh, you go check that out, but um, he's the one who figured this out from what I believe. Um, now for me personally, I'm not really you know into it for the whole DPS aspect I mean that's great and everything but for me the reason why I like that is because you you're able to feed every other DPS and healer and what have you your Gemini I, I think that's just better for the group um, now with all this said I don't have all max artifacts um, shoot for some of these rotations uh, including ones that I haven't done yet, I don't have the right artifacts. Uh, I mean, like I said, I can't really speak on other powers. Uh, I can only speak on the one that I'm I'm familiar with and that I use. But uh, certain rotations are just not going to be as good if you don't have the right artifacts or movement speed. Um, like, for example, your best gorilla single target is going to be with the actual movement mode of acrobatics. Um, essentially, your best AoE is going to be with super speed uh, to get Whirling Dervish. I mean, that's just the way the game is right now. Um, I'm sure eventually it's going to change, but like I said, as it stands right now, I believe nature is just the most versatile power in the game. Now, I understand most people chase the top, you know, they want the top DPS, that top burn for the leaderboards or what have you, but unless you're willing to put all that type of money into it, it's, I mean, let's just face it, this game is so dependent on the artifacts now, because let me think about it, they're coming out with a new one in Birds of Prey, so we're going to have to replace an artifact we have. But see, the problem with that is, I mean, you could just feed it in, but then somewhere down the line, that artifact's probably gonna, you know, make a comeback, if you will. Because it's like, well, everybody fed it, nobody has it, so we'll make that one the more prominent, the meta, and everybody's gonna have to re-level it up type of thing. Um, again, I have a 200 Gemini. Uh, because I share that between my healer and DPS, and I have the 200 solar for heat vision. And then I have a 160 trans card. Now just off of that, there's 2% alone that I'm missing based off my trans card level. I, I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to get that leveled up. I don't know. Um, and until I do, until I'm able to get more of these artifacts to mix and match, then you know this is basically what I have to work with. And that's essentially just what I'm showing here, is that you don't need to necessarily have... Alright, so let's say you have three set artifacts as it is. And you go watch one of these people's videos, and it's like, well, now you're going to need to switch out an artifact or two. And if your artifacts aren't high to begin with, feeding them into it is not going to help that much. So you're going to find yourself pretty much having to you know, spend some money. I mean, this way, again, you're not going to do the best possible damage per se, but it's going to be a viable option without having to spend money, really. But um, on that, you know, I hey, hope you enjoy the video.
Hey, that's going to do it for this video. I appreciate each and every one of y'all stopping by and taking the time to watch this. And hey, remember, I know I'm going to keep saying this, man, but if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for many, many, many more videos to come. And for those of y'all already here, man, I appreciate each and every one of y'all. And we'll catch y'all in the next video. Y'all be safe. Later.